I think that shows again a lot that how Crystal talked about our conference because we're sitting 17th in the country in the rankings and we have four other teams ahead of us. Um, uh, and again, when she was talking about qualifications, uh, she said we automatically qualify. Or uh, there is no, no qualifying standard. What it is is if you're a Division I junior college, you, you're automatically allowed to go to the national meet. But it's just the school standard that has the fifth and region. Uh, right. They're at a conference. Right. Now, are there different divisions in cross country? I mean, I know there are in volleyball, there is in basketball. Are there, you have 19 junior colleges in Kansas. Are they all the same division? Or are there different divisions? We're all in the Jayhawk, all in the Jayhawk conference, so we're all Division One. Everybody's Division One. Everybody in Kansas. Mm -hmm. Yep. Are there other divisions in the nation? Division One and Division Three. Correct. And what would be the difference there? Do you know? I have no idea. Oh, okay, <laughs> Division One, um, we are allowed the scholarship. That means, and it's up to like the conferences, like Jayhawk Conference. Our scholarships is books and tuition. But when you get down to Division One, like New Mexico. Junior college, they are allowed to give everything. They can pay for everything for their kids. Um, Division three, they aren't allowed to pay for nothing. Absolutely nothing. They cannot give their kids anything to run. Love of the sport. Yep. Love of the sport. Right. I like that analogy. Now I'm going to swing back over and talk about volleyball as it relates to uh, recruiting uh, and, and putting this team together. As you look ahead to the future, you've got to be looking ahead already to next year, I would guess. Definitely. And you've uh, been at some area tournaments, you've talked to area coaches, mm -hmm. not just in Kansas, but obviously outside this, uh, the state as well. I have a question. Do you ever run into a situation uh, when you were garden as an assistant, here as a head coach already, where you're recruiting uh, somebody that somebody else is recruiting and heavy, and both of you are on them pretty hard? Um, more so when I was at Garden, I think it happened maybe with like Seward or some as Butler sometimes. Um, but out here I haven't had any problems that I know of um, other than some of the kids that the old coach here was recruiting, she's recruiting in Texas. So that's kind of the only, um, I guess, competition that I'm really? finding. Uh, talk about some of the kids that you are recruiting a little bit right now that you have an interest in bringing in here for your program high school kids in the area? Um, there is a couple in the area. Um, one of the main ones right now is, um, her name is Amanda, um, and she's from Wheatland, um, Wheatland and Grinnell High School. Um, and she um, is an outside hitter. She's playing middle for her high school team. She came to our camp this summer, um, and she's been coming to camps for a while now. Um, she would be, I think, a great help um, for us. And she's coming out this weekend, next weekend, to try out um, to do her, her workout, and then she's coming the next Friday for her visit. So we're excited to, for November 1st, hopefully, to, to get her signed. And there's also there's a couple of other things I wanted to ask you about. One is you've got a match coming up here in the near future mm -hmm. that uh, will have a focus on breast cancer awareness. Talk about that a little bit, and where did the idea come from, and, and exactly what will happen? How will you raise the money? Well, um, we set a goal. We have a company that, that does this for volleyball programs. Um, a lot of the club teams are doing it, and the colleges are starting to do it more so. Um, and when I was in Garden, the high school did it. Um, and, and just from some knowing some people, um, the, one of the radio stations got them, donated their jerseys for them. They wore pink jerseys, and they did a lot of fun activities, and I thought it would be a really great idea for us to do. Um, and so I, I did some research um, and talked to some people and found some interest here. Um, so we are going to, uh, on the 26th of October, it's a Monday, um, we play in CTA. It's also our sophomore night. Um, we're going to have what we call our Dig Pink match. Um, we have a lot of different ways you can donate money. Um, we have pink shirts that we um, have available. They, or have the logo on them and say Colby Volleyball, they're really neat. Um, we'll have some different activities that night um, during our 10 minute break um, between the games. And then also we're going to have a silent auction um, during the match and just try and do some other things. It's still kind of early, so I'm still coming up with ideas and planning as much as I can. But um, we did set a goal, like I said, um, of $500 that we want to raise, which is it's not so much, but at the same time, for our first year, you know, we kind of sure. wanted to, to take it 
easy and see what interests we have. Will you attempt to do this on a regular basis, I mean yearly basis if you can? I would love to. We, we have jerseys, so you know, if you just have jerseys for one year, it doesn't really necessarily sure. pay off. So I'd like to use them, you know, as long as we can and do it. I think it's a great cause and, um, and it's a lot of fun for the girls. All right, now that's October the 26th, yeah. that's right. And if you have questions out there, they can contact you, I'm sure, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, in terms of contributing to right. uh, breast awareness and being a contributor in any way, shape, or form, right? Yeah, we have a website um, that we'll get on the web page of the college where people can go and donate money with uh, Visa cards, with like actual credit cards, if that's easier, or they can send checks to us, um, and then we, we get that all together and send it in at the end of our, um, at the, after our match is over. But there will be more information on the web page, and we'll get as much out to the businesses and to people as we can in the next couple of weeks. So. All right, so don't forget that, folks. Now, you know, I'm a fair weather guy. I've been accused of that, and it's not a, it's not, a, well, it's the truth is what I'm saying. I don't like cold weather, and I don't like wind any more than I like cold weather. And so, uh, Carrie doesn't have to worry about the wind, she doesn't have to worry about the cold, she's inside with her team, but you two guys have to deal with cold weather. We talked about that last week, I think, the last program. But what I didn't touch on was 60 mile an hour wind. <laughs> now, that can't be any fun, James, running when it's cold enough, that's bad enough. But when the wind's blowing 50, 40, 60 miles an hour, how do you deal with that? Uh, so far, it hasn't really hit us on our workout days, um, which has been good. Because you've conveniently taken the day off when it's windy? <laughs> uh, we, it, it's not that we take the day off, it's just when it's on an easier run. Uh, my guys can still go out there and, and just try to make the best of, of the run. But, um, yeah, there's just there's nothing you can do about it. It's things. Now, you know, I don't know if they had the wind down in Texas where you were at stuff before you came here, like they have here. But, Crystal, you're familiar with it, having grown up in Oakley. Right. Uh, how do you deal with the strong winds? And, and we talked about cold temperature, but the combination of the two, nobody can like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Well, when we went down to Oklahoma, it was actually really nice. Like, you guys were really cold here and windy, and we were in shorts and t-shirts in Oklahoma when we were running, so it was awesome down That's there. That's not fair. It, it, was, it was us. So, <laughs> But uh, today, today's going to be tough because Mondays are my tough workouts, and it's raining right now, and it's blowing, and I might have to, this week I just might have to switch around and do my hard workout tomorrow, so... Well, the truth is, wouldn't you, uh, I mean, there are times when you need to run in adverse conditions because the truth is a meet might be in, they're not going to cancel a meet uh, because no, it's won't. cold or windy, will No, they? we'll run. We run in wind, rain, snow, it doesn't matter. Unless there's lightning outside, we'll be out there in it running. Let me ask you about recruiting, uh, and we've touched on uh, recruiting a little bit earlier uh, in programs, but... Uh, are you finding that uh, that you might be uh, recruiting somebody that somebody else is recruiting, and you got two or three or four schools battling after one person? Uh, how do you win that battle, Coach? Uh, I, I've I've already come into contact with it, and uh, it's you know it, it's just a part of recruiting, no matter where you're at. Uh, but uh, you, you just you know I, I, just, I my my big thing is I tell I, I tell them the truth, and if they really want to be a part of Colby, then. You know, they'll like what they hear and, and they'll want to come and come run for us. Crystal, how do you deal with it? Especially um, when you are after the same right. runner somebody else is after, Martin County or Yeah, I'm, I, I'm like him. I'm honest with them. I don't try to, and I don't try to downgrade the college that they're going to like mm -hmm. a lot of other coaches do. Like they, like they knock down Colby. They, like if they're trying to recruit one of the kids we are, they knock us down huge. And that's not my style. I don't like doing that. Because they're like Butler. I, he's a great coach. I, I can't say. Well, he's a former that, Colby right, coach. He wouldn't right. knock us, would he? Oh, you bet you he would. Oh, he would. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, if, if, do that, would oh he? yeah, he would. If if we were trying for a really strong girl, I guarantee you he would. I mean, maybe not me myself, but the school itself, he he would. So how do you deal with that? Just uh, be uh, just, frank with him. Just be honest. honest just be the honest person you can. And, just try your hardest to get them. And how important is building relationship, trying to with a high school athlete, uh, maybe over a course of a year or two? Is that pretty important? Yeah, I think it is. It's 
around here it's a lot easier because you know I know a lot of the coaches around here 